Hi friends, welcome to Simply NAS West Coast. My name's Hernan, we have very exciting news. So we've been talking about this for months, actually for almost a year now, the QUTS Hero is here. We're actually building them and shipping them, all right? So we're building this one for, the, for one of our customers, loading up with SSDs for cash, as well as drives, eight terabyte drives that are gonna be loaded up in this system. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load it up, we're gonna get it going, and we're gonna show you the console. We're gonna show you the inside of the new QUTS operating system and its console and how it varies from the QTS system. Now, this particular system is the TS-H12, the TS 77XURP, okay? That comes with 32 gigs of RAM. That comes standard, but it is upgradable. We'll talk about that in detail, as well as its very powerful AMD Ryzen 7 processor. And as we know, that's an eight core processor, and we're gonna deep dive into that processor as well and talk about its power. So sit tight, we're gonna crack this thing open, get it going. So let's take a look at the QNAP, QUTS Hero. Now, let's take a look at the hardware of the all new TSH-1277X URP. We'll start with number one, AMD Ryzen 7 processor. The AMD Ryzen 7 3700X eight core 16 thread 3.4 gig processor that can turbo boost to 4.4 gigs delivers high computing power. Now number two, up to 128 gigs of DDR4 memory. Supports four DDR4 dual channel long dim memory modules for a maximum of 128 gigs of RAM. Number three are the two 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. Fully supports 10 gigabit ethernet high speed networks. Ideal for running bandwidth demanding applications. Now let's take a look at number four. USB 3.2 Gen 1 and USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Supports external hard drives, printers, and UPS. The USB 3.2 Gen 2 port provides data transmission speeds up to 10 gigs, significantly boosting data transfer performance. Number five, two gigabit ethernet ports. Ideal for service binding, port trunking, and MPIO configurations. Number six, dual port 10 gigabit ethernet RJ45 expansion card. Provides two 10 gigabit ethernet RJ45 ports to speed up your workflows. Number seven, four PCIe expansion slots. Supports 10 gigabit, 25 gigabit, or 40 gigabit ethernet network expansion cards. QM2 cards, fiber channel cards, and SAS expansion cards for greater application potential. Slot four comes with a pre-installed 10 gig adapter. And number eight, redundant power supply. Redundant 300 watt power supply ensure continuous system uptime. Number nine are system fans. The system fans monitor the system's temperature and automatically adjust the fan speed accordingly. Now, let's go over the QUTS Hero operating system. Improve your storage performance with inline data deduplication, compression, and compaction. Inline data deduplication. Inline deduplication is block-based and is carried out before data is written to storage. This greatly optimizes storage usage while significantly increasing storage capacity requirements. Inline compression. Compression data to reduce the storage I.O. workloads. Inline compression. Compresses data to reduce storage I.O. workloads for improved performance. In VDI deduplication, virtual desktops are easily cached to achieve optimal virtual desktop performance. Inline compaction. Especially helpful for increasing SSD storage efficiency when highly repetitive data or massive small files are generated. It delivers higher cost efficiency for all flash storage systems. Self-healing ensures data integrity and reliability. 
Data integrity is key to the reliability of applications and databases. As SSD adoption grows, businesses will encounter a greater risk of data loss as it is difficult to recover data from dead SSDs. Designed with a focus on data integrity, ZFS uses end-to-end -end checksum to detect and correct silent data corruption caused by hardware defects, bugs in firmware, or metadata errors. If an integrity violation is detected, ZFS automatically repairs the damage using data from another mirror before the data is passed to the application. QUTS Hero is also WORM, which is write once, read many times, compliant, to ensure that data once written cannot be modified. File transfer performance. Now, what we're going to do is compare the QUTS Hero to the QTS 4.4.1 QTS operating system. We'll start with iSCSI. Here, we are transferring data, which is a 4K file, and you can see the random write and random read. You see the QTS hero versus the QTS. Next, let's look at SMB 3.0 and a 4K file. Again, random write and random read you can see the difference between the QTS Hero and the QTS 4.4.1. Let's take a look at SMB 3.0 file transfer. 10 gig file. We see the upload and download speed with the QTS Hero versus the QTS. Next is SMB 3.0. Now, we're looking at a 1 meg file, upload, download. You can see the difference between the QTS Hero and the QTS 4.4.1. Now, let's log into our new QUTS operating system and take a look at the interface. Now, if you notice, it looks very similar to the QTS operating system or the QTS interface. And this is great because QNAP did not want to change the interface too much and have its users have to relearn an interface or have to relearn an operating system. So the front end looks like QTS. However, the back end runs ZFS. This is great. Now, let's log in and take a look at our drives. Here, we see our SSDs, three of them, and our spinning hard drives. Here are our default shared folders. Now keep in mind, your shared folders will be different. You can add share folders and create share folders as needed. Looking at our storage pool of our shared folders, we can look here, we have public, web, and homes. If you see a lightning bolt, that indicates that there is cache attached to that particular folder. Okay, So next to that, we see the status type is ready. Data reduction. We have compression and deduplication, which is great because we can select whether we want compression or deduplication per our shared folders. Now, we go into our cache acceleration. We see that our cache service is on and ready to go. And similar to the QTS, external storage. So here we'll find any external devices connected to our QNAP. Here's a snapshot. We can see snapshot replica. Okay. And so far, we haven't created any yet. So this is where we'd see our snapshots. Here's our snapshot vault. Again, we don't have any, so they'd be listed here. Next is the iSCSI and fiber channel. Okay, this is where we'd go in to create our iSCSI and fiber channels. Again, very similar to the QTS, right? We hover over, click on our main menu, right? And we'll see all our apps here, our shortcuts where we can go and make several changes within our QNAP system. And here's our app center. Here we can download our apps, the apps that would help us with our daily workload. And again, we're happy to say that QNAP has kept 
the KUTS Hero very similar to the QTS, so it's easy for users to be able to utilize this and not have to go through hours of training. This was a peek at the QUTS Hero and the TSH1277XURP. So friends, there you have it. So we are building the new QUTS Heroes from QNAP. ZFS file system, AMD7 Ryzen powerful processors, and loaded with 32 gigs of RAM. That's expandable, okay, so to fit your needs, as well as the drives that you need. All right, so any questions, feel free, again, to email us. Stop by our, our website, okay, at www.simplynas.com. You can write to us there, or again, send us an email at simplynas.com, all right? And any questions or comments, you can actually leave them below as well. And remember to subscribe and like, and turn on your notifications as well, because we're constantly updating our videos and sending you more and more information regarding data storage. So on behalf of Simply NAS West Coast and Simply NAS East Coast, thank you again for stopping by and be healthy and safe. Take care.